Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Thanks for coming out. Scrapper that delivers showed up yesterday, brought me four units, and I paid uh, 50 for them all. I paid 20 for this craftsman. It happens to be a, a 2019, and I'll give you the lowdown on that. The model number of the uh, crafty is... One two Alpha Bravo Romeo two Bravo Kilo seven nine three. This is the uh, M three five zero. It's got the seven point seven five horsepower engine on it. Rear wheel drive, no bag. So he said he had this thing um, running. He said he worked on it, cleaned the carburetor, took the muffler off. What the issue with it, he said it, it had a miss in it. So he kind of gave up. He ended up somehow cutting his finger, sliced his finger with the blade. I don't know how, but he said he wasn't going to work on mowers any longer. So I'm not sure if that was just a spur of the moment decision or if he's going to really hold true to that so the reason i gave um 24 wheels are in uh, good condition no wear on the wheels um, other than it's sitting outside you can see the faded plastic here i've messed with these um style briggs engines they're a, a newer um style engine like i said this is a 2019 it's got a serial number here for the engine one nine zero one two five three seven seven nine four seven three the um engine model number is one one five papa zero two zero 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 four frank one so it's a, a complete unit i'm not sure why there was a miss in it he didn't say anything about changing the plug out it could be that or i'm not sure how he cleaned the uh, carb i didn't ask him if he disassembled it or did he just spray carb clean into the intake? So I know how to put this thing back together. I'll do so. He left all the um, hardware and the filter. I'll need a new filter. Um, we had a big thunderstorm yesterday and all this stuff got wet. So I know it's a lot, but it's a, a newer unit with a bigger engine. I'm going to hopefully be able to do something with this for 20 20 bucks i know a lot of you guys get after me for spending too much money on the scrapper deals let's move over to this uh another crafty 2013 on this red one this is a front wheel drive uh, deal with this thing is I've been running into a lot of this with these um, double cables. There's no brake bar here. That that was missing. I got to dig up another one. And these um, style cables with the double tube here give me a, a pain in the bottom. And I think this has got a kink in it yet right there where they tried to fold it over. There's a big kink. I got to see what I can salvage here. It looks like the Z-Bend is screwed up. I may be in the market for another cable. I definitely am for the um, safety brake. You can see it's separated here. I've got vice grips on it to try to start it. So we're going to take the air filter off, goose this thing, and, and see if it kicks off. This happens to me, the model number 917.375. Dot three seven zero oh, four one two.
Southwest is leaving. Hope you can hear that. Data manufacture August of 2013 on the ID plate. The engine's the 126 Mike 02, and the rest of it's rusty. I can't read the rest of it. Let me get a flat head, remove the air filter cover, and let's goose this thing. Trying to get motivated this morning. A little bit of uh, motivation juice here. Got to get focused. Got to get these uh, turds on the roll. Just got a message from a guy who wants to come out and look at a a standard 20 inch pusher so i got to bring all my units out to the front hopefully he buys one since we've gotten rain here the grass is starting to grow it's good for business filter doesn't look bad looks like it's been changed with a aftermarket made in china 2019 filter so if this is a 2019 filter this hasn't seen a lot of use in the last few years so what's what's the deal was this thing sitting or used a couple of times since 2019 who knows but let's find out this is an automatic choke let me goose it intake doesn't look terribly gummed up um The, um, the, uh, looks like the, the throat doesn't look too bad. I don't see a lot of buildup. Let me pull on this. We'll need another cord. This is all frayed up here. I got to record, record this. Yeah, this, there's something wrong with the, uh, Board here there is now I just broke the uh, cord just snapped it let me use this uh, screwdriver wrap it around the cord here and try pulling it like that looks like it was in a fire see the the burn mark there on the handle it's got compression So that was a surprise. This thing started the 2013 Crafty. So did they lose the uh, handle here somehow and just push it to the curb? 
the um, the front uh, wheels engaged. You saw that. It was a little low on the idle. I got to adjust that. And uh, we need cable action. And I got to change this out. You can see the uh, cords all worn out here. There's a knot in it. So I'll re restring this. This doesn't look like it's going to be a a huge project on this 2013 craft. Be kind of surprised. I got to go to my junk section and get another uh, bail bar for this. I ordered uh, one of these for another project. I should have ordered like four of them. I've been getting a string of this style set up. One of these cables goes to the bag release. I just remove these. What I can probably do is what I did in the other situation is um, change out the um, cable assembly here and put another style cable on it. Get rid of this loop-de-doop shit. Find another bail bar. I've got like two or three of these things I've removed. I got them in a pile. Since I don't have the bag, I'm not going to screw with this thing. So yeah, I'm happy for 10 bucks. Let's move down to this yard machine 2006. Let's keep the trend going. Oh, look at the ant farm. Ants have made a nest here. We can't do much with this thing. The, um, the cord's broken or the recoil's not retracting. I'll pull this apart and see if I can restring the, um, or re re um re rewind re the spring take a deep breath tommy so we'll need another cable that's pinched but it's in place what else so they they basically push this to the street due to the uh recoiling up let's see if they've uh done anything with oil it's got fresh oil in it. Oh boy, let me uh, get that flat head, put you back up here. I won't disturb the ants. Those look like fire ants. You get bit by one of them and the, your hand or foot's going to have a big welt on it. Probably due to the rain, their nest got flooded, so they take high ground. They move the whole nest nasty little boogers you don't want to stand on a nest and not know it there'll be 50 of them biting you another clean filter this is clean filter day today the 491 588 sam okay it looks like delta screwed me up again So like I said, I can't pull on this. The, the recoil's dead. 675, 3 and one side discharge mulcher bag. I don't have the bag. But they were pounding manhole covers. They've got it on the lowest position here. That's no good. You hit every single stick, rock, or stump when you're that low to the, the ground. Okay, last but not least, baby 20. I kind of already started to look this thing over. He, the uh, scrapper made two trips. He left me three and had to go back and get the last one. So I was able to look at this unit here, 2015 Bolins, baby 20. Wheels are gonna need to be adjusted. They're not at the highest deck position. This did fire off. Um, I put um, channel uh, vice grips here. The, the cables uh, messed up. Somebody's done a welding job here on this. Kind of tacked a, a washer here because the bail bar broke right there. 
where the original hole was, so they tried to improvise. So I think there's an issue with the cable. So it did fire off. I um, gave it a score to Happy Juice when I was messing with this 2015. It ticked off, no air filter. This happens to be the Bolin's 11 Alpha Dash 020 Whiskey 765. It's your basic 20 inch pusher. Um, I've been selling a lot of the baby 20s for between 100 and 120. If it's got a nice shiny deck, people are paying me 120. If it's got rust on it, and the plastic's kind of rough. I've been getting 100 for those. So this will be a $100 unit. This will cover my $50 investment. I'll get my 100 out of this thing. Let me um, see if this thing's going to shine up. Let me grab a, a rag here and see if it does anything. But first, I got to get super motivated. So all in all, I'm happy. Usually I'm not because I find things that are screwed up that I didn't notice before. But all in all, I'm surprised we got one to run on its own. I know this will run with the carb clean and it's actually shining up here let me um let me do a lawrence carol on this right now i'm not even gonna well, i'll wipe the dirt off and then we're gonna do a a little little beautification here with lawrence's a, approval he's been selling a few this summer he's going to be shifting into his snow blowers he's up north you guys up north have season all year long down here in the winter i piddle my thumbs and get ready for the summer season oh yeah this this thing's gonna be the lawrence carroll special of the day look at that got some nice nice shine to this thing People are leaving Southwest Florida. Who do we got? American Airlines is leaving. They're all heading back to Detroit and Chicago. Okay, there we go. So yeah, maybe 110 on this since it shined up. This will be degreased. I'll use my um, wheel degreaser. When this is all cleaned up, it looks like it's a new unit. Get rid of that uh, grass staining there. I'll show you what I use for that. Tried and true um, Dollar Tree grill and oven cleaner. Stuff works great. Just uh, squirt it on there. Take a brush, let it sit for a minute, take a brush and uh, go over it once with the brush. Let me get Mr. Snake out of the way. We'll do a We'll do a little quickie quick. Make this thing look new again. So I'll put a little uh, penetrating oil on the nuts here so I can move the wheels. Just prevents Harvey, the homeowner, from hitting rocks and stuff. Just due to the fact that the blades lower to the ground. So 
something like that. And so sometimes I I cheat. I take a picture of it wet so it looks like it's really shiny. But if I do the Lawrence Carroll special, it's shiny with the uh, ATF. I don't have to cheat with water. I had one guy message me, says, why, why all the time you're you're taking pictures of wet mowers. <clears throat> so I think he caught on to my little shiny mower trick. He knew I was up to no good shade tree mechanic pulling devious stunts to make large volumes of money. No, no, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Reasonably priced mowers. Okay, let's let's see what we got. I didn't do the bag. Somebody had a bag on it already. I'll probably pull that barcode sticker off. That looks like shit. That's got to come off. So 100% better with the wheels cleaned up. Looks like it's a well, it was a well-maintained unit. I don't need this barcode. I'm not, um, I'm not buying it from Lowe's. This is where this thing originally came from. Let's go look at the phone number. I'll give you guys the service advantage phone number. And then I'll send you on your way. I got stuff to fix. Okay, if you want to go to Lowe's for service, one eight 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 tough shit. Lowe's service advantage, maintenance parts, service, extended protection plans, all in one convenient location. Please call us to service your next service. Oh, there you go. Okay, not bad on the 2015. So all in all, four for 50. I'm pretty excited what we got here. We got something to work with. And uh, I think the um, this yard machine's not going to be a, a big deal. I think the killer was the dead dead rope on that. I'd be really surprised if I respring the sprung spring and the, the thing starts. Two clean um, filters on both of these, the crafty and the uh, yard machines. You never see that back to back, double duty. Okay, you guys have a good day. I'm going to drink more motivation. I'm going to go to work on this. This will be the uh, quick and easy. Adjust the wheels. Let it dry. Lawrence Carroll special. And put another um, cable on it. I've salvaged a couple of rusty uh, machines, rusty decks. I've saved the, the um, handles and the bail bars. I'm going to put a better bail bar on this thing it's not going to go out with that hack and slash tack job tip your waitress and wait staff they really depend on your generosity have a good day today thanks again keep moving keep shaking keep baking